Hello, Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of WinCC Unified. In this video, I am going to uh, show you how you uh, how you use a slider uh, slider to change the numeric value, numeric set point in your WinCC Unified. So first of all, you will see I have a slider here. Uh, I am going to select it and paste it here. So here is my slider. I think I need to do some uh, minimize that here. And uh, after going it into it's the slider property, uh, I'm going to change the level and uh, scale value. So I'm going to change that the scale value. The maximum value is 50. I'm going to make it a 10, and uh, you will see the 10 value is now created, and uh, uh, the different is uh, 5. I'm going to make it a 2. Uh, wait, make it a 10. You will see 1 to 10, and then uh, I'm going to. Oh, change it a process value here so the process value I'm going to select a tag here so I'm going to use that set point tag which is also my uh, tag one wait which is my tag one so I'm going to use that the tag one here which is md100 and uh, tag one here so now my slider is now configured I am going to compile that project and uh, when my project is compiled then I am going to start a simulation so now my project is being loaded and and it takes time to load so now I'm going to fresh my semantic runtime manager uh, and then I open my web page also I'm going to use the PID here and uh, WinCC unified page here so you will see that uh, it is showing that the set point level is 5 here but I think I need to change that the manual bit like that you will see that it is going to 5 now when I am going to change my set point you will see it is also changing here I am going to also show in this slider into your my factory IO simulation so you will see that here like that level is 7 going to 8 and if you are going to make it a 3 so it is going to 3 like that so that's how that's how slider is work in Namin CC unified thank you for watch my video please subscribe my channel like my video and comments if you have any query uh, and in the descriptions uh, there is also a link of my other tutorials, SCADAs and PLC programming and in the descriptions also have my phone no whatsapp number so if you have any query you can whatsapp me uh, uh, I am available for you thank you for very much for watch my video again